All right, turn 63, February 7th, 1942. Let's see what kind of damage Lodric can do to us. Flip the base down there by Fiji. All right, knife face is over. All right, guys, get him. Can we at least attack? No? That's nice. Bomb and my troops fleeing Ku Kong. Not much damage. Now that we're out of the most of you, I don't think we have any troops in clear terrain anymore. Wow, well, in China at least. I think Fu Chao might be clear. Dang it. Light bombings. I'm borrowing my troops here. Should, should not be much damage due to the terrain. Oh, here we go. Singapore attack again. Come on, guys. Keep holding. What's our big guy? A 21. That's our biggest. A 30. Wow. I don't know, we're gonna lose Singapore one of these days because we don't have much defenders left. Uh, we lost a unit. He lowered the forts. He lost 2,500, we lost 1,100. See, we just can't keep taking these losses. All right, we'll hold here. Now he'll grab a few dot bases or whatever he's been landing at.
Alright, another slow turn. We'll wait to the base expansion and production. Then we'll pause the video, grab some saves, get some data, come back and go through the after action, which will once again be another short one. That was interesting. Alrighty, another slow day. Let's go ahead and take a look at some stats. Japan went up 39 points. We increased by 8. We lost no aircraft. Japan lost 2 to ops. Take a look at those. We lost a Sonya and a transport. Incoming air groups for us. 3 days. We just went over these. Nothing new. No ships were sunk. 31 days to the Hornet. Just going to kind of skip through these because we really haven't done much with them. Um, we had a couple of destroyed units here I need to go through. You can see we're doing, well, we were doing a pretty good job of keeping these clean, but we've had a bunch recently that's been filling, filling these up again, so we need to go through those this, this turn. We'll hop over to Combat Reporter, take a look at Signal Intelligence. Let's see, Radio, Canton, Manano, Babel, Manila, Chichijima, Truck, and Pelele. All right. Hey, right, nothing special there. A fourth in. Mixed regiment? Really? That's all you're going to send to a Palenbang? Is a regiment? If that's all he's sending, that's a little weak. I've learned in my experience with Japan, if you take multiple attacks to take the base, the odds are the oil gets a lot more damage. So I like to usually, usually I send a full a full uh, division. Because with a full division, doing a, uh, I usually send a division and some tanks along with a base force or two. And on the initial attack, the division and tanks just, just overrun the defensives. Even if they built the forts up, you know, to like two, three, possibly even level four, there's just too many, and they they just rolled over whatever's there and take the base in a single go. But all right, let's hop out of there. Let's hop up here. Not much has changed in Burma. We're still going around those Marines at Akyab. He flew over. Mikina, so he might be para dropping up, but I think most of his paratroopers are in the, in the, the was it? Where, where do we see those? DEI or South South Pacific? He has them somewhere else. Yeah, he's using them as assault troops, not as paratroopers. Let's see. That guy's not chasing us. At least it doesn't look like it. Malaya's gone. Sumatra still. He's just sitting here. Doing nothing. The, all the units here at Shamarinda are gone. Let's see. Really? Is he coming down here with that little bit of troops? He can't, unless he's coming around. Or coming down. Yeah, he's he's not coming to Silver Baja with, with that. I mean, I'm not saying there's a lot of troops here, but... This CD unit will maul the hell out of him if he tries to land. I mean, there's a hundred, there's a hundred plus AV here. We're sitting behind level three forts at at the moment. What's Palenbang have? We got level two. We're working on level three. But really, in the DEI, nothing's really changed. I am kind of surprised he hasn't moved on Palenbang or anything yet. Although. Like myself, I do like to wait until Singapore is gone to, you know, capture before I move on it. But at this point, Singapore has been, I mean, you have to make sure Singapore is neutralized. Because you don't want aircraft flying out of Singapore, hitting, hitting your ships coming coming up up through the, you know, northeast, northern waters here. 
they're just too exposed and you don't have any anything good here to fly long range cap out of. I mean, you can do out of a couple different bases, but long range cap is bad for your pilot health. It, where it really tires them out and damage, you know, more that way they make more mistakes, more damage to the aircraft and, you know, and more more losses in in ops. I usually come down. I usually, I usually have this by now. I take mud talk. Once you have mud talk, then that frees up the, the approach to pound, pound and bang. I mean, mud talk could be. I mean, I could have ships sitting right here, and he'd never see him because he's not reconning it. It is interesting to see other. I've never really looked at other people's playing Japan, you know, in in any fine uh, detail like this. But as playing as the allies, you get to see all of this. It is it is an interesting. That's a dot base, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Nothing going on in Java. Like I said, DEI is quiet. Nothing really going on in, in, in Australia. I do have some troops moving around. You can see them up north there. A few other ones zooming around on the rails. New Zealand's empty of any real activity at the moment. We're building forts and such and... I believe a couple air air airfields, but that's about it. We got supplies and fuel coming in. I I'm thinking one of these might skip New Zealand, go try to drop off up up in Oz. They could definitely use use some 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 fuel up there. Maybe even both of these. Problem with this guy here is he's burning fuel as he as he's coming here. He's going east. He's going west. Tahiti's slow, building up. More supplies coming down. All right. We're going to pick up this last piece of this guy. Hopefully we won't lose this ship on the way back and lose the whole unit. Not much going on here in Hawaii. Looks like we have a couple enemy subs spotted. So he's patrolling here, here, and here. But he's not patrolling anything from the from the south. All right, that's why I, I thought. I probably need to move some of the ships out of Panama. I'm getting a nice gathering of them. I got 20 plus ships here, serving no uh, no no uh, no purpose. That should be Saratoga coming up to San Fran and such to refuel. And possibly, does she have an update coming uh, in a month? Yeah, I don't know. How big is She's 36,000. But how big it be for the update? Uh, 25, ouch. That really restricts where she can up upgrade at. Not much going on on the coast. Let's go ahead and hop over in, in China and see what's going on here. Nothing really going on in China. He bombed a few spots, but no real uh, attacks or trip movements. That anything that's new. I think he has decided he's on let me let these guys escape. I'm kind of surprised at that, but I don't think he has enough forces everywhere he can to just smash these guys out of out of existence. Which is kind of what he wants wants to do, but he cannot. These guys are chasing me west. It looks like. Well, that's not going to be good. I was hoping they would. I don't know. Actually, I, mean, I don't want. I don't want them to move north. Because you know, there's not a whole lot of defense here. I mean, it's fifteen hundred, but we need more forts. But not a whole lot going on. I do know I want to get these guys moving. Actually, maybe move him all the way up there. Which of these guys are not moving? All these beat up units moving because they weren't before last turn I forgot 
There we go. Hey, right, I think that's all I need to do right this moment. But that's the real simple turn, real quick turn here. If you enjoyed watching it with me, please go ahead and click on the like button. If you're following along in the campaign, but you haven't subscribed, or, or if you're following along in my Helsing game and you haven't subscribed there either, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and push the button. I mean, I know there's one of my followers here that says 500 people he follows. He says he watches me, me the most. I appreciate it. But, so I don't know what the rest of you are wait, waiting for. But until the next next turn, you guys all have yourself a great day, and I'll see you later.